this was my granddad's. Um, he used it to make uh, grandfather clocks and some music boxes and different things throughout the years. It runs and the brake works. So there's a setup guide on top of here. I'll show you that in just a little bit. And it tells me that the yoke pivot is green. There's a little green handle down here. I'll move that over, pull this up, and voila, we can turn. This would be the in rip position. This would be the out rip position. It is missing the uh, safety device here that keeps the board from ejecting, so that needs to be replaced. Without question, that needs to be replaced. And these saws can be potentially dangerous, so I'm not gonna do much with it except for straight cuts and angle cuts, probably. I don't think I'll be doing much ripping like this. Uh, it can be done. They were designed for that, but you have to be very, very careful and a little more skillful than I probably am at this moment. Here's a blade angle adjustment. We have demonstrated that everything on this saw does move. The motor runs, the brake works, the lock for the start works travels in and out, this lock works, it travels up and down. I just need to get that safety device. I'm not gonna use it without that. I would think I could buy that online somewhere, that safety device that keeps that board from kicking back. It's, it's mainly used for ripping. I may never rip on this saw, but nonetheless, I wanna get that safety device. So it turns out I looked online for some safety parts and found that this saw and many other saws uh, for Craftsman, the 8 and 9 and 10 inch saws have a safety recall and so this entire guard gets replaced with that safety recall. So I'm going to try to get a hold of one of those kits and retrofit this and go from there. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment or dissent. You've been watching the Junkyard Tailgate channel. Good day.